Hey guys, welcome to Riot, Language of the Unheard. We all know that is a famous quote from Martin Luther King. I don't know what it means, but it's kind of self-explanatory. When people are not heard, they tend to lash out and, and uh, most unfavorable, correct? So we all have to develop ways we can communicate more effectively. And that's what basically this course is about. I myself was in included, you know? Um, so we're gonna get right into it, uh, the meat of what we'll be learning here. The first chapter we'll be dealing with as uh, Dare to be Different. But before we get into that, I wanna kind of explain a few things. Uh, I wanna first of all, welcome you to the course again. Uh, there was a formula that you'll be hearing quite a bit, um, T plus F equals A. This, step, this simply stands for thoughts plus feelings equal action. What you think, basically, let me say it this way. What do you, what do you think we're saying here? I want you to think about that. Thought plus feelings equal action, okay? Um, just think about that for a minute. Not a whole minute. It's about three seconds. Silence is golden. Okay. <laughs> so we'll jump right on in. Um, chapter one. Um, I want to start off with a quote. Uh, know thyself and to thyself be true. That is what was inscribed on the pyramids. Um, they could have put a whole bunch of stuff. Honor the fortitude laws of my art. Do this, do that, do this, that, and the other. And all them ancient secrets and hieroglyphics and everything that was on there. They chose to tell us to know thyself and to thyself be true. Deep, yes. <laughs> okay, so chapter one, again, with the first chapter here is dare to be different. I dare you. If you don't know who you are, people will voluntarily tell you who they think you are. That was by uh, Les Brown. You remember when we were younger? We were younger, probably way older than a lot of people, but it's okay. <laughs> When we were younger, we wanted to dare somebody, right? It was another way of challenging them, right? So that's what basically this is. It's a challenge to be you. I challenge you to be you. Now, the, the key is, who is that? <laughs> that's what we're trying to find out here. So um, going into the next segment here, it's, it talks about finding yourself. Finding your self. You break that apart, there's a your, and then there's a self. We're trying to find that person. That is merely the process in which one recognizes their essential self through being and acceptance. Being mm. and acceptance. You gotta accept once you realize who you are. Inside the human skull uh, is a human brain. The functions of that brain is what we refer to as the mind. Mind is broken up into two categories, conscious and subconscious. There's a whole world between the two, but they both work simultaneously together, okay? The subconscious mind tends to gather all the materials, whether that be good or bad. And the conscious mind exists only to carry out those, those orders, whether that be good or bad, okay, if that makes sense? All right, and so uh, I'm reminded of a scripture in the, in the, the Bible, the Bible, go ahead, correct me. It's called a Bible. <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, it says that the way a man think in his heart, so is he. What does that actually mean? Take another three seconds and think about that. The way a man think in his heart, so is he. It's not like the heart has a brain to think with, but it is an organism that operates in its own right, okay? So I think what they're saying there to break it down in the formula that was created is that the way a man think in his heart, so is he. Don't that sound like TFA? Huh? Thinking, heart is the generator of emotions, right? Emotions are generally what we feel, correct? So thoughts plus feeling equals action. Action is the, the B, the so is he part. So the way a man thinketh in his heart, thought, Heart is the feeling, and so is he, is the, the actual action. So that formula is this ancient, old, back in the day, Jesus dusty sandal time, okay? It's, a, it's, a, it's an old motif. Um, there's a, I'm reminded of another quote 
in the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. He stated, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're correct both ways. So there's a lot of emphasis on thought here and what we think about on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, and every moment, those thoughts tend to catch up to you and then they end up uh, altering your feelings, how you feel, and then you act a certain way. It sounds like I'm repeating myself, but we learn through repetition, just like in martial arts. You, you go over that move a thousand times, you, you punch that bag a million times, you do a zillion kicks. And through that repetition, we learn uh, the art of whatever we're doing. I myself, I call myself a mental martial artist. That don't mean I just fight in my head, it's just, we do that in conversation. You know, we pivot, we take positions to be able to not argue or fight with people, but like Bruce Lee says, what's your style? My style is the art of fighting without fighting. I know he didn't sound like that, but you get my point. Okay, we have to learn the art of fighting without fighting. And we do that through our mind and what we're thinking. That makes sense? Thank you, because I'm trying to get dollars. <laughs> Cents, dollars, get it? <laughs> so in, in um, daring to be yourself, uh, being, being challenged to be you, accepting you, you have to find yourself, which we learned is the, merely the process of recognizing your essential self through being in acceptance. And then we have, um, now is once you find yourself, let's define ourselves. This is where your personality comes from. The process of defining yourself, okay, if you're refining something, you're, you're, you're shifting it, you're, you're getting it to its, its sharpest point. So when you're defining yourself is basically an evolutionary idea of knowing who you are, what you stand for, what your identity is, what rules you stand by, what laws you follow, and so on. This could be morals you live by, what you define as integrity, how important your word is to you, you know? This is big in relationships. Your word is everything, okay? This could be the morals you live by, uh, let me see, uh, I said that already. What you consider to be good and bad, you know that's different for everyone. I like what um, Shakespeare said, there's neither good nor bad, good nor bad, evil, no, no, there's neither good or bad, evil or heavenly, whatever. It's all, um, it's a, you, you think it so, whatever, the end of it, but you think it so. There's a good nor bad, but thinking makes it so. That's the quote, sorry. Whatever a man think it, that's what makes it so. So then we tie all that into Corona and, and stuff we're dealing with now, the pressures of life, all this stuff. You're the only interpreter of everything that you face. I'm not denying that, you know, people getting ex extreme coughing and, and, and cold times 1000, whatever you want to call that. And they flipping it and giving another name called, called Corona. I'm just kind of pointing out what we're talking about there is that you're the interpreter of life. You're the interpreter of everything that you see. And once you see it, you internalize it. Some people say that you are the generator of decisions. If you break that acronym down, I'd get myself in some trouble. Generator of decisions. Bam, God, whoa. Ah, okay, what are we talking about? To me, I'm not gonna get into a debate. Remember, I'm a mental martial artist, okay? We're gonna just jump right to it. Watch how quick this is, all right? When we talk about God and that particular energy, we're not talking about deity, you know what I mean? Nobody that look, oh, do something, do something, do something. That's okay, if you do that, that's fine. But if that's the case, then that same energy should do something about these little kids getting traffic. I think apparatuses should be falling off all over the world if that was truly the case, all right? But it's not. So it's, it's in my opinion, okay? But so it's energy. Um, to me, God can never exist to anything. Why? Because God exists within. Bing, 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 bing. Yep, you heard a new word. Insist. I N X I S T. It literally means to dwell within. We'll go into that in another session. Okay, I don't want to bore you guys. Just kind of want to get to the little point here of what we're talking about and how the process of thought is so important in everything that we face and do and deal with in life. You have to take accountability for what you're thinking, okay? So we were going into uh, 
defining yourself and that's what it is. You have to know what you're defining, know who you are, have, feel that power, that energy, that love, that, even that hate, accept it all, man, because hate to me don't even exist. To me, hate is just offended love. If you think about it, how could you, you had to love something so much for it to get to hate. You can't just hate something. I hate you. That's offense talking. So if you thought differently, you would know that and you would look at that word differently. And then you would approach it differently based on your knowledge base. That making sense? So that's why this course exists. We really want people to, we really want to give people a platform to, to think from a little more effectively. So this goes into the process of expressing oneself, right? Ultimately comes from the, the ability to express yourself ultimately comes from uh, feeling safe in being yourself. And safety in being you incidentally comes from accepting who you are. It sounds simple, but you'd be surprised how many social clones we have, how people base themselves um, off of other people imaging them. Okay. Um, guess what? That's basically it, guys. All right. Uh, these are not long sessions. It don't take a lot when it's real, okay? And so the homework assignment for chapter one will be to review the audio that is submitted in the, the on the Academy, um, uh, little um, treasure box there. You're gonna call that a treasure box, okay? Um, Joseph Murphy, he's a renowned um, psycho, uh, analytical therapist. He does all kinds of stuff, man. I'll send up a little work up on him. But in this course, he discovers the, uh, or talks about the power of the subconscious mind, okay? No, you have the conscious mind, remember we talked about in the beginning, and then the subconscious mind. A lot of our uncaught thoughts are picked up by the subconscious mind and end up dictating our conscious activity. So that's those little private thoughts. I ain't worth nothing to her. She ain't worth nothing to me. He, he really don't love me. She did that never. She probably talk about me all the time. All these are thoughts. We don't know if this stuff is accurate at all. This is how we feel. And then these thoughts make us feel a certain type of way. How we say, I, I feel in a certain type of way, man. I'm feeling something right now. We already know what we feel it. We can't break it down. <laughs> so the, the, the goal of knowing thyself is that you can relax in those moments. When, when you don't, when things are uncertain, and, you know, we, we understand that most things are no thing, no thing, N-O-T-H-I-G. You know how when, if it's something is no big deal to do it, like, ah, oh, man, it's nothing, it's no thing, it's no thing, man, I got you. You know, sometimes we need to really relax in that. Silence is golden, no thing is everything. That may not make sense. But I'm going to point this out to you real quick. No thing is everything, all right? Watch this. When I tell you to look up into the stars at night, all right? I mean, uh, into the sky at night. And I ask you what you see. You start. I see the Big Dipper. I see the Little Dipper. I see Taurus. Oh, my God, look at that. Ooh, the clouds. Is it? All that is beautiful. But nobody really recognizes the black space that's holding all of that stuff. The great vast nothing <laughs> that is holding everything that you see, everything that you feel, everything that, that goes on in our minds, the basis of it, the thing that's holding it is nothing. So mostly everything that we're facing in life is an illusion. Huh? Take about three seconds and process that. Wow. And in this course, um, especially this first chapter, listening to the homework assignments, going through them at your leisure, how you want. We have them broken up in days um, on the um, syllabus. Joseph Murphy really gets in there and I really wanna hear your thoughts. I wanna hear a three paragraph, um, um, whatever, dissertation, whatever you want to call that. That's one three paragraphs on what you thought of the audiobook and how it affected you, okay? And what this will do is give you another platform, a different perspective to look at life. And that's all we're after, a new perspective. All right, we're not going to eat up all your time because the homework is going to take up or no. <laughs> all right, guys, we do appreciate you for joining today. We appreciate you for coming out. I hope you have fun. 
Um, you know, I'm, I'm known to be a little silly because I'm so serious. I have to balance these things, you know? So it's like the ABCs of life and the one, two, threes. We wanna make sure that we understand what TFA is, that will be on a future test somewhere around chapter three. It means thoughts plus feelings equal action. All right, there's so much more I could share, but then we'll have to, we'll touch on those on our, you know, on a, one of our one-on-one -on -one sessions, or if you guys pay for some additional time, just like that, I'll definitely make time and, and talk and help process thoughts. I don't make a habit of telling people what to do. I think instinctively, um, honoring the divinity of all human beings, they have the answers within inside themselves. Okay, but those of us who are at a different vibration, who can kind of, uh, kind of stay focused, incidentally, focused, it's a two-way thing. F-O-C-U-S, it stands for don't follow others creating unnecessary stress, but follow others creating ultimate success. Okay, let's not lose focus and let's stay on tight. Okay, so you guys be good. I appreciate you. And once again, thank you for joining chapter one of Riot Language of the Unheard. And as always, one love.